Good day Grade 11s, welcome to your next lesson in Analytical Geometry. In this lesson we're going to be looking at how to find the equation of a line using the two-point form. Now Grade 11s, there are quite a few ways that you can find the equation of a straight line. This is one of the ways, so we're just going to go through this now and then we're going to go through a couple of other ways and then you can decide which you think is the best way and the most appropriate way depending on the information that you're given. So. The equation that we use in the two-point formula is y minus y1 over x minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now that seems quite scary, but if you look at this, you can see that this here is what? That is the gradient, right? And what did we just prove? And this here, if you look at this again, this is also just a gradient using two points on the line. So what we're saying really here is that this gradient has to equal that gradient, right? So we're using the fact that your points are collinear, just like we've just proven. So the best thing to do is actually to show you how to use this. So let's do an example. It says find the equation of a straight line through the points 5, 4, and minus 1, minus 5. So again, the first thing you do is you assign one of the points to be point 1 and the other to be point 2. I'm going to let this one be point 1, so therefore this is going to be x1, y1, and this is going to be x2, y2. And then all you do is plug it into this formula. Now grade 11, so this formula is not on your formula sheet. So if you do want to use this method, you need to know how to do it by yourselves. So let's go through it. It goes y minus y1, which is 4, over x minus x1, which is 5, is equal to a y2, which is minus 5, minus y1, which is 4, all over x2, which is minus 1, minus x1, which is 5. So then we just solve this. We go y minus 4 over x minus 5 is equal to minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9, over minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6, so that there becomes y minus 4 over x minus 5 is equal to minus divided by minus is plus, 9 divided by 6 is 3 over 2, and then we want to get rid of this, so we put this on the other side by multiplying through both sides by x minus 5, so that cancels with that, but what you do to the one side, we have to do to the other side. So we end up with y minus 4 is equal to 3 over 2, we multiply this out, 3 over 2x minus 3 times 2, 3 times 5 is 15 over 2. And then to get it into the standard form, and remember the standard form of straight line is y is equal to mx plus c, where m is your gradient and c is your y-intercept. Now, to get this, all we have to do is take the 4 across. So we've got a y is equal to 3 over 2x minus, and just to make this easy for ourselves, we're going to make this 7.5 plus 4. So therefore, you get y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 3.5. Right, not too difficult. Hey, let's do another example just to make sure you guys have really got to grips with this. So, this time I'm going to still let this be x1 and then that will be y1 and this will be x2 and y2. Right, so let's do this again. So we've got y minus y1 which is 0 over x minus x1 which is minus 4. Please remember your brackets otherwise it's very easy to make the mistake of just making it x minus 4 is equal to y2, which is 6, minus y1, which is 0, over 3, x2 is 3, minus, minus 4. So y minus 0 is just y, which makes life easy. And this becomes x minus times minus is plus 4, is equal to 6 over 3 plus 4 is 7. Take that across, we get y is equal to 6 over 7, times by x plus 4, 
which becomes 6 over 7x plus 4 times 6 is 24 over 7 and that is your equation. So grade 11s, do you see that this is actually a really easy way to find your straight line equation using two points. So that's the two point form. Please practice, make sure you understand how to do it and then go do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day. Thank you.